choosing a rock to work with. And then we are going to wipe off the rock really good with a paper towel because it might have a little bit of sand and dirt on it. So we're gonna clean it really, really good. Once your rock is nice and clean, we're going to think about the rock and look at the rock. Take a look at your rock and think about a fish and the shapes of a fish and where you might fit those different shapes inside of your rock. What part might make a good fin? What part might make a good face for your fish? Where would you like the eye of your fish? We have some nice handouts here to show you some different ideas of different designs that you might use for your rock. One of the most important things that we're gonna do first is to find a place for the eye and draw the eye in that location using our Sharpie marker. I'm gonna put my eye here. I think it's important that you go slow and careful and make that circle. Now you can draw your eye open or closed. You can add glasses if you want. The next step is to draw a line that curves around that eye area from one side of the rock to the other. This is where your fish's head is going to be. On this side, I'll put the body of the fish over here. The next step is to add a mouth to your little fishy. The mouth lines are going to stretch from one end of the rock into the head of the rock, like so. You can make your fish have a little cheek with a little small line like that. You can draw teeth in there if you want to. You can make your fish have big lips or small lips. It's up to you. Now let's think about the body of our fish. Let's think about pattern and what we want those details to look like. I'm going to go with a nice little curly collar. And I'm going to add some stripes. Remember, your rock is three-dimensional. We can turn it, we can look at the other side. Some rocks have bumps and cracks. That's okay because they are all different and they're supposed to be different. So now that we're done drawing our design onto our rock, we are going to add some color. We have some acrylic paint here. We are also gonna use really little brushes because these are really little rocks and we don't need to use a lot of paint. We're gonna go really slow, take our time, use little brushes and just dab it on carefully when we share paint, we always wash our brush before switching to another color. We don't want to get all of the paint muddy brown. That just ruins it for our table buddies.
Now that the paint is dry, we can take a few minutes to go back in and add more details with our Sharpie marker. Three. You be you!